you're going to hell. You're going to hell for being sad as shit too. Yes, you're going to hell. You are going to hell. Yes. You are fat as fuck. Yes. You're sweating because you're so fat. You need to hit the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. You need to help yourself. You need to help yourself. You're over 400 pounds. You're fat as fuck. So you're, I get your anti-Trump. Are you? Would you say you're also anti-MAGA or just more anti-Trump or I'm both? Anti-MAGA because all this, this guy right here has said that Trump was cloned. Biden has been cloned six times. That's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. That, but there are six clones of Biden. It's just stupid. We're the laughing stock around the world, and people are laughing at us. We used to be the beacon on the, the light, the beacon. People are looking at us like, what are you guys doing? And I'm tired of it. Do you have any like specific gripe about the whole MAGA thing? The QAnons, the insurrection, the misinformation that they're giving in the media. Mm -hmm. It's just like stupid stuff. Every time you say, every time you try to fact the them, well, go to the internet and look it up. Anybody can go to the internet and make stuff up. What would you consider yourself? I'm a liber I'm a I'm a Democrat. Okay. I've been a Democrat all my life. Everybody keeps on saying that black people that are Democrats are on the Democratic plantation. Republicans that are Republicans that that vote Republican all the time are on the Republican plantation. There's two plantations that either one of us are on. Either you're on the de Republican plantation or you're on the Democratic plantation. Is there a difference between Republicans and MAGA Republicans? Yes, there are. MAGA Republicans are stupid, are crazy. I can't deal with MTG. I can't deal with Bobert. I can't deal with uh, the guy from Florida, Matt Gates. I can't deal with Jim Jordan. I watched that uh, interview with uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. That woman is insane. She thinks that we, she think that, um, we should have a divorce in America between the red, between the red and the blue. The last time we had that, it was called the Civil War. That's what she wants. The woman is crazy. You got no sweat. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Get this on camera. What are those? What are those? I got this for Walmart. 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 I got this. Yes, yes. Andrew, take help me. Andrew, take help me. Andrew, take help me. Yes, yes. I live in Thurston. I live in Project. I'm fat. I'm black. And I got free health care. We are so divided between red and blue, and I blame Fox News, OAN, Newsmax, and I blame CNN, MSNBC, and um, any other news outlets. They're dividing the country. And it don't need to be this much division. What about looking forward? When could America be great for you in your eyes? When we, when we, when everybody can get along, and when we have one party and everybody can get along, because this two-party system is ripping this country apart. We need one party. One party. One party. This doesn't that scary? What if you don't agree with the one party at some point? That's when you vote. Because a party is just a party is just. A party is just you going, you going to, you going to the primary for each party, for the Republicans and the Democrats. If you, if a Republican and a Democrat can, a Republican and a Democrat can be on the same ballot, you vote for the best person. Okay. So I've got one more question. So this actually, we this is a 3D scan of a real hat. Mm -hmm. So it's a sculpture. What do you think about making this into a sculpture? Don't break it because it's very expensive. Oh, this is nice. I want to make that into a sculpture. That's good. What do you think about that? Just like making art, real. making art out of that. No, it has too much. It has too much evil behind it. It has too much evil. What do you? Well, okay, do you know much about? I'm not saying you don't, but do you know much about art? I mean, there's like a lot of things in art history that people, you know, at that time was very controversial. Mm -hmm. Like I don't questionable. Know 
I don't know too much about art. Okay. No, I don't. What's your opinion of this, though, is contemporary art? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay? I wouldn't wear it. Right. I wouldn't have it. But could you see it in a museum? No. No? A gallery? Yeah, a gallery. Like the, like the what you call it, like the Confederate flag should be in a museum. Okay. Or a gallery. All right. Because we only have one flag, and that's the American flag. Okay, I'm done. Welcome to the Meme Ranch. Round these parts, we like to keep the content flowing. Everything from exclusive interviews to man on the street, documenting events, art, culture, politics, food, and so much more. Exploring different cities, towns, and places off the beaten path. Visit memeranch.com to check out what we have to offer. Step up your fashion game with some of our unique custom apparel. Or even step up your collector's game with a custom piece of art designed by world-renowned sculptor and painter, Exvola. Check out his latest piece, The Red Hat, available in bronze, resin or polycarbonate. Perfect to display on any red-blooded human being's fireplace mantle, on the office shelf, or even to wear atop your head if you should be so bold. The choice is yours. It's time for a digital renaissance. Join us in making it happen at memeranch.com.